briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a clash between a beauty salon owner and a former employee, the District of Columbia Municipal Court of Appeals took aim in 1956 at the thorny issue of breach of employment contracts. The provocative headline, Roth v. Speck, the case circled around a fundamental question. Should the person aggrieved by a breach of contract be able to recover the money needed to secure equivalent services elsewhere? At the heart of the dispute was a beauty salon owner, the plaintiff, who charged their former employee, the defendant, with abruptly leaving before the end of their one-year contract. The defendant had clocked in barely over half a year in service before bolting, citing unbearable working conditions. The plaintiff, themselves a salon owner, argued that the defendant managed to earn their keep from the outset and had even accumulated a following of clients, thanks to their exceptional skills. The evidence, a statement of the defendant's earnings, presented by the plaintiff at trial. The initial court decision leaned in the plaintiff's favor, but awarded them nominal damages, a single dollar. Stung by this unsatisfactory outcome, the plaintiff decided to appeal. In an intriguing turn of events, the court agreed to revisit the initial ruling setting the stage for a retrial to reassess the financial compensation. The court underscored that the defendant bore the burden to demonstrate factors that could mitigate the damages caused. The measure of damages, it should reflect the fair value of the defendant's services, treated as the new compensation until disproven. It was a resounding acknowledgement that when the sanctity of a contract is violated, the perpetrator can't entirely wriggle out of a fair penalty. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.